Greetings Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet, this is Rendog coming at you from just outside the automatic tree farm in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode we set up an arboretum and a logger to start automatically planting and harvesting trees so that we can build a giant ass scaffolding factory to start work on the foundations for the Renstar. And in this episode my friends we are going to be constructing a humus factory to ensure that our arboretums always have the food they require to keep our automatic tree farms running 24 hours a freaking day. So sit back and relax myself. Ah, but diggity dogs, let's feed the beast that is our mind. Now guys, since you were last with me, I've done a few alterations to our automatic tree farm that I want to show you before we get cracking on today's episode. And basically what I've done is um, inserted an infinite loop here to the system of the arboretum because basically once your arboretum starts running for a long time, the logger actually collects way more saplings than the arboretum actually needs. You can see this arboretum is full up with oak saplings. So what I did was just add another cobblestone pipe in here to create a loop so that the saplings can just travel around in this loop if there's no space in the arboretum. And since the previous episode, I have also built another tree farm just to, uh, to the left of our first tree farm right over here, guys. And it's exactly the same construction that we have over here, exactly the same design. So we now have two arboretum and loggers running 24 hours a day, connected via this glass fiber cable to the power supply of the Cyber Labs. And guys, this has been running now for about an hour or so. And I just want to show you how much uh, wood this system can actually generate. Have a look in this chest. We have got a ridiculously large number of stacks of oak wood, of sand, and almost a full stack of apples. And uh, the same goes for this automatic tree farm on this side too. Look how many logs we've created over here. So j just with two um, arboretums and loggers, you are able to, to generate a ridiculous amount of loots in Feed the Beast. And you know, these things can be used for, for so many different things. I mean, oak wood can be used for fuel, sand can be used for glass, can be used for circuit boards, for glass fiber cables, for a whole bunch of other jazz. And so just, you know, using quite, I mean, it's not actually that expensive to set the system up. Uh, you need some diamonds, you need some gold and stuff like that. And you need a carpenter and a thermionic reactor. But all of those things are actually quite easy to build. And if, and if you've just started playing Feed the Beast, I would recommend getting this set up quite quickly because it's actually quite easy to make um, and quite easy to get going and it generates a ridiculous amount of loot man which is absolutely awesome but guys in this episode what we need to make sure uh, of is that our arboretums these machines over here have a constant supply of hummus right now they will have an infinite supply of oak saplings because as you can see that th this system actually generates more saplings than is needed so we don't have to worry about saplings but we do have to worry about hummus now how in the jazz do we make hummus again well let's have a quick look at the recipe and to make hummus we need to surround fertilizer with dirt and to make fertilizer we need uh, sand and appetite in a crafting table so we need to automate both of these uh, processes in order to generate a, a constant supply of hummus so what we're going to be doing guys is creating a hummus factory uh, I'm sorry a humus factory some of you guys mentioned in the previous episode that the correct pronunciation is actually humus. Hummus is a delicious Greek yogurt uh, or a delicious Greek dip. <laughs> so I, I shouldn't say uh, hummus anymore. I should actually say humus. So to create humus, guys, we are going to be setting up a factory in the cyber labs. But before we do that, we need to start redirecting the materials generated by our uh, loggers into the cyber labs and into the sorting system. So what I've done is I've dug out a couple of tunnels. I've dug out a tunnel over here that is going to take us into the cyber labs and uh, maintenance level. And this is where we're going to be setting up our humus factory and eventually our scaffolding factory. And I also have another tunnel created. And yes, guys, I have figured out how to change uh, hover mode. You just press N. <laughs> For the last couple of episodes, I've been leaping around like a crazy person because I wasn't on hover mode. But I've now been able to learn how to set my jetpack to hover mode thanks to everybody uh, who told me how to do that <laughs> but I also have another tunnel guys going down here and this tunnel is going to allow us to, to connect our loggers to the sorting system here of course is the iron pipe that is connected to the manual insertion chest down there so the first thing that we're going to do today guys is just run a cobblestone transport pipe from this location
location all the way back up to our automatic tree farms um, if we can get up there here we go so this is going to come all the way up here right and what we want to what we want to do is send sand and apples into the sorting system from our loggers and we want to send logs into what is eventually going to become the scaffolding factory in the cyber lab so why don't we run some pipage from both these locations let's run some cobblestone pipes from both of our logger locations like this and uh, what we're going to have to do is use a diamond transport pipe to redirect sand and apples into the sorting system. So let's get our diamond pipe in the belly. As you can see, I've organized my inventory for this episode. I hopefully have, have sorted everything out today, but uh, you know, only time will tell really. <laughs> um, and let's run another, looks like we need to run another pipe through here for our second logger. Um, and this one is going to come like this and I think we'll probably need our diamond transport pipe over here to send sand and apples from this factory into the, 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 the sorting system. So let's just get that done like this. Bam! And then this will connect up to our sorting system quite nicely. And what we need to do now is specify, let's just get some sand and uh, some apples. I, I don't know how this oak sapling has gone into this chest, but there we go. Obviously, uh, it does get through sometimes. And let's put an apple in here and a sand in the red one. So everything else is going to carry on going that way. And by everything else, I mean just logs uh, or oak wood logs are going to carry on in this direction. And then uh, for the green one, we'll put uh, the apple and the, and the sand. There we go. So so apple and apples and sand are going to go in this direction out of this um tree farm and then into the sorting system via this red diamond uh, transport pipe over here and then everything else we are going to run down into the cyber labs maintenance level and that is of course going to be um, sending all of our sweet ass oak wood logs into our scaffolding factory so let's run this all the way along like this here we go oh my bad so let's just get this pipe run and once this pipe is in position we can then start working on our our, our humus uh, factory in the cyber labs so let's just get this running all the way down oh man this is so freaking sweet you know this project is so cool because we are going to be making use of both of us uh, of our sort uh, we're going to be making use of our sorting system as well as a brand new factory and uh, it's going to be kind of tricky to connect right because the next step of today's uh, process is creating a humus factory so what we need to do is set up an auto crafting table and what we need to direct into that auto crafting table is um, of course um, sand and appetite because the first step of making humus is making fertilizer right so we're going to have to use our sorting system to deliver um, sand and appetite into our crafting table and then we're going to have to use the, 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 we're going to have to send that hummus back into the system so that it eventually ends up in the arboretum. So we're going to have to run another transport system from um, the humus factory back into uh, the, the automatic tree farm. So, you know, this is quite a complex system, which is very, very cool. But what I want to do now, guys, is connect a, a pneumatic pipe into our sorting system like so. And uh, we'll need to come one more like that, I think. And then this pneumatic pipe is going to come all the way down here and what we're going to do is use barrels to 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 store the the appetite and the sand that we need to create the fertilizer and uh, then what we're going to do is suck the sand and the appetite out of the barrels into our auto crafting table to create our humus so I'll tell you what guys i'm going to fiddle around now to get that configuration sorted out and once we have something to look at i will bring you back on the other side of this compliant compliant all right, Cyberdogs, we are back and I have just done an, an initial setup for our humus factory. And as we can see, we've got a barrel over here that's connected to our sorting system that has sand in it. And we've got a barrel over here connected to our sorting system with appetite in, in it. And uh, what we have in the center is this auto crafting table. So what we need to do now is make sure that we can direct sand and appetite into the auto crafting table to generate fertilizer. So let's get... Um, 
two sand out of this barrel and an appetite out of this barrel to set the recipe in the auto crafting table and uh, fertilizer looks a little something like that right so the next step for this factory is going to be sucking the fertilizer out of this auto crafting table into another auto crafting table that is going to have dirt delivered into it to create the final product hummus but the first thing that we need to do before we get to that step guys is make sure that that these barrels are delivering their goods to our auto crafting table so let's just insert a couple of blocks of marble over there and then we can get our levers up in this jazz because we want to be able to turn these engines on and off obviously if the barrels run out of appetite or run out of sand then the sorting system is just going to send random items into them so we want to be able to control the flow of both appetite and sand into the auto crafting table and uh, when the supply is running low we will then be able to come and turn off the factory. But because our arboretums and our loggers are generating sand for us, we should have a constant supply of sand in this barrel. And of course, we get a ridiculous amount of appetite from the quarries that are currently running. So theoretically, we should never really run out of sand and run out of, uh, of appetite. But now we've got the engines connected into the barrels. You'll see if we turn these redstone engines on, um, a, a sand should get sucked out of there and an appetite should get sucked out of there but what we need to do now guys is make sure that this sand and this appetite gets directed into the auto crafting table so all we're going to do right now is use some stone transport pipes to deliver those items into the auto crafting table so let's connect a stone transport pipe network like that out of that barrel and one out of this barrel and then what we need to do is use an iron transport pipe which is up in this jazz over here let's get an iron transport pipe installed so that and then get our wrench out so that um, uh, appetite that comes out of this barrel won't head into the try go into this barrel it's only ever going to go into the auto crafting table so there we go that's looking good um, no items can can go past the auto crafting table in that configuration which is perfect so let's uh, give our little system a test over here let's turn on both of the redstone engines and we should be seeing sand coming out of there we should be seeing appetite coming out of there and then they should be flowing in the back here directly into the bottle of our auto crafting table let's have a look We'll see them go now. Now, the reason I'm not using golden transport pipes is because I don't actually want the system to run ridiculously fast. Uh, you know, the faster the system runs, the, the quicker the, the, the system will run out of resources. And we don't need that humus to be created at light speed. So I'm quite happy to use these slower uh, transport pipes. But that's working absolutely awesomely right now. And we can see our auto crafting table is slowly filling up with material. But the only way it's actually going to produce fertilizer is if we have uh, an engine and a redstone uh, sorry and a, a wooden transport pipe underneath the auto crafting table sucking out the items so what we're gonna have to do now guys is install uh, another redstone engine underneath this wooden transport pipe over here and this redstone engine can actually just run at all times but we won't we won't turn it on just yet but what we're gonna do is now use cobblestone transport a cobblestone transport pipe actually you know what we're gonna to have to do man we're gonna to have to run the cobblestone transport pipe along the, the the ground level so that it doesn't connect up to these other wooden transport pipes so let's get some cobblestone pipes running in this direction and this is going to go to the next part of our factory which is going to be um, combining our fertilizer with dirt to create humus so guys I'm gonna get that configuration set up and uh, I'm gonna get this running correctly and I will see you on the other side of this kaplaya Kaplaya! All right, Cyberdogs, we are back and I have set up the next part of our humus factory and this is the final step in the process and that is of course the last auto crafting table that is going to be generating the humus itself. So let's collect a little bit of um, dirt up in here and let's just set the recipe for our final auto crafting table and uh, that of course needs to be dirt like this with a bit of fertilizer in the middle. So let's just make Eight fertilizer out of this auto crafting table and let's get that fertilizer in there okay sweet so there is our final uh, auto crafting table bit of our factory creating the humus and what we're gonna need to do is suck that humus out of this auto crafting table um, and send that into a network that's gonna return it into the arboretums but 
what we need to do now, guys, is ensure that the fertilizer being generated by this auto crafting table over here is heading into the, the second project table, and it is. You can see that this uh, cobblestone transport pipe is going to send all fertilizer into this auto crafting table. And the second ingredient that we need for this auto crafting table is, of course, dirt. So what I've done is I've added another barrel over here that's actually going to be a dirt barrel. And we can just connect this dirt barrel directly into this pipe over here and using an iron transport pipe we can ensure that um, the dirt will coming out of this barrel is just going to go straight into our final auto crafting table just like that okay that's looking sweet but what we need to do now guys is make sure that uh, the sorting system is going to deliver dirt into that barrel because currently I think we are redirecting dirt into the recycling facility so let's just have a look over here yes we are redirecting dirt into the recycling facility so I'm going to remove that dirt from from this diamond transport pipe now all dirt is going to head into um, this barrel over here in our humus factory so that is awesome Oh, by the way, I've shut down the quarries for now until we um, actually get the system running because as soon as the quarries fire up, we're going to see the appetite start coming in. We're going to see the dirt start coming in. So you know what? Now that we've got our barrel set up, actually, we can fire up the quarries again. So let's head over to the, uh, the quarry power supply panel <laughs> Man, that was a lot of peas there we go the quarries are back i'm run up and running so we should slowly but surely start seeing um our, our glass uh, uh, sorry our our sand over here and our appetite barrel starting to fill up um, and once we get this whole system up and running we should start seeing this crafting table filling up with materials so what we can do now guys is add one more lever to this engine over here which is going to start sucking out dirt from this barrel and uh, what we can actually do now is test our humus factory everything should be connected up perfectly over here what we need to do is add some power to this redstone engine which is powering the pipe from the first auto crafting table so that auto crafting table is now going to start generating uh, fertilizer and let's kick this puppy into overdrive right now and what we should be seeing is sand coming out of here appetite coming out of here the sand and the appetite heading into this auto crafting table to create fertilizer fertilizer being sucked out of this auto crafting table we can already see some of it coming in here going along this pipe along with dirt into the final auto crafting table over here and because we're not uh, we haven't an um we haven't started this wooden transport pipe yet. This auto crafting table isn't generating humus net yet. But what we still need to do today, guys, is connect this auto crafting table to the uh, the buttholes of the arboretums in the auto tree farm. And we also need to um, start redirecting sand into the, the sorting system and redirecting apples into the sorting system. So let's head back up to the auto uh, tree farms automatic tree farms up in here and what we can start doing is connecting the output pipes of our loggers to the system that we uh, created in the beginning so this chest is absolutely jam-packed with with materials right now I think we can actually break this chest because the, the logger is actually gonna pick everything up again so that that's probably gonna work quite nicely so I think let's just run um, this is a cobblestone transport pipe network okay so we can run a cobblestone pipe like that and then we're going to break this chest hopefully this isn't going to be an absolute disaster but okay that looks that looks fine that looks fine and then i think what we probably want to do is run this cobblestone transport pipe directly into this iron transport pipe like that and then connect the system up like that okay awesome so the logger is going to be delivering its goods straight into our system our system is going to be sending sand and apples in this direction and logs in this direction to eventually be used for our scaffolding factory uh, but is this logger actually picking up all of this jazz it looks like it is all right so it should slowly start sucking up all of this loot hopefully oh it's actually not going to pick up the sand so let's dr let's search uh, Pick, try and pick up all of the sand that we've got over here there we go and I think the logger will will manually pick up those logs that we just broke like that and uh, well, I'm gonna have to do exactly the same on this side um, so guys I'm gonna plan this bad boy get this side running also and uh, we will I'll bring you back when we are gonna connect the arboretums to the new humus factory Kaplam!
Alright Cyberdogs, we are back up at the Arboretums and I am just running a check over here, a systems diagnostic to make sure that everything is working correctly. This apple over here should be heading in this direction. Yes, that's perfect. This sand that's coming out of this one should be heading down this pipe over here. Let's have a look. The logs are heading all the way that way and I've connect and I've uh, added a chest in the cyber labs maintenance level there to collect all of the logs going there from our arboretums. Yes, the sand is going in that direction. Perfect. And uh, we should have a bit of sand coming out of here. Oh no, no. Oh no. There we go. We've got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. And this sand should be going in this direction. Okay, so uh, that's going up blue for some reason. I think it's because we probably have to say that yellow is... We have to... Yeah, we, I think we have to add, an, add a filter over here, right? We have to make yellow an oak wood filter. Okay, there we go. There we go. That should work quite nicely now. There we go. So wheat. And I don't think we have to do this... No, we don't have to do the same for this one because uh, once the, the wood goes past... Once it gets to this location and yellow tells it to go this way then uh, the wood won't turn around again. Okay, so, so wheat, our delivery system is actually working quite nicely. We can see logs are being delivered quite slowly uh, along the cobblestone transport pipe over here. And I'll show you exactly what I've done over here. I've just set up a chest to collect all of these uh, oak wood logs that we can see over here. And, and in the next episode, we're gonna start working on the scaffolding factory. But most importantly, guys, let's get back to the humus factory. Looking pretty good. For some reason, this barrel isn't getting any sand. And I suspect that's because we probably have a sand barrel in the sorting system somewhere. So let's see if we can actually find... Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so we actually have a sand barrel right here. Let's collect all of this sand and uh, I think let's just put chests in place over here. All right, so we can get, head down to the manual insertion chest and get all of the sand back into the sorting system and it should be heading straight into that sand barrel over there. So let's get all of this sand into this manual insertion chest there we go okay sweet so i think our humus factory now has everything it needs oh the set we have to do exactly the same for appetite right because i yes there's definitely an appetite barrel up here somewhere there it is wow 18 stacks of appetite in there damn son that is insane um gonna definitely have to drop off some of this jazz i think let's let's just drop off these apples and Let's just drop off. We're gonna have to make some space here for all of that appetite. Let's just drop off some of these some of these pipes actually. We can come pick them up a little bit later. Okay, sweet. Um, now I, I think I could probably collect all of this appetite. Get in my belly appetite. Bam! And let's just add torches to that barrel for now. Um, and let's head back to the manual insertion chest again. Now we are definitely filling up our humus factory with the materials that it needs. So let's just drop off all of this appetite up in here. Sweet. Okay, so now, now I'm confident that um, our humus factory has what it needs. It needs sand, it needs appetite, it needs dirt. We can already see the dirt is, is filling up already. So that is epic. Um, and all we need to do now is get this freaking auto crafting table um, fired up and delivering its loot all the way into uh, the the bottom of the arboretum so the next step that I'm going to do now guys is figure out how we're going to run a tunnel um, or a pipe should I say for, <laughs> from the arboretums all the way to our final auto crafting table so guys I'm going to work that out now and I will see you back on the other side of this complaint complaint all right, my cyber dogs, I've figured out how we are going to be delivering the humus to the arboretums in the automatic tree farm. And we're going to be doing it via this stone transport pipe over here that's going to run around the back of the humus factory. And then it's going to travel, it's going to cross this little passage over here, go under the pneumatic pipe uh, that is delivering appetite and sand into the humus factory. And it's going to run all the way along like this. And then it's going to come up over here. Nope, missed it. Missed it. Got to do mid-air placement over here, man. Bam! Okay, there we go. It's going to come all the way up like this. So wheat. And then, because, it's, uh, because this is a stone transport pipe, it's obviously not going to connect to this cobblestone transport pipe. And then what we'll do is run the pipe like this. I th yes, we'll run the pipe like this underneath uh, the, the, the humus roads. <laughs> Is that connected? 
there we go and that is just going to connect very very nicely into the um the arboretum so we can do actually i think we can just do it like this right there we go lovely and let's run this all the way into the next one also oh man this is so epic i i am, have been having so much fun doing this project just because there's been so many different elements that to to make use of you know we've had to use various mods from feed the beast to make this work uh, forestry and freaking pipe you know the pipe mod and everything and the pneumatic pipe system and everything man this is so awesome okay so our arboretums should now theoretically uh, be connected to our humus factory so let's head back into the cyber labs maintenance level and uh, we can actually fire up our freaking factory now and see if this is actually going to work and uh, i'm <laughs> if this actually works i'm actually going to be really proud of myself man because uh, this has been actually quite a tricky freaking build for me um just just because there's just you know there's there's so many different elements that we've had to connect over here we've had to connect the sorting system to an independent factory system um we've had to make sure that you know that that, it, that we can control the flow of resources into the factory so that we don't break our sorting system it's just been it's just been quite a lot of variables um in this process which is you know which is absolutely awesome man i really really enjoy projects like this it's just so much freaking fun man all right i'm going to connect my uh, redstone engine over there and let's what we need to do now is get this redstone engine fired up so i think we can connect uh, a lever did i bring a lever yep brought a lever over there okay so with the flick of this switch our humus factory should start running at 100 percent capacity so let's do this man let's flick it on the engine's going to start it's going to start sucking humus out of there and that humus is going to be delivered into the arboretums and uh what we need to do now is actually turn the factory on there we go it is up and running next step of course guys is going to be using some marble covers just to make the, the the thing look a little bit better and to cover its shame but for now let's just make sure that everything is working perfectly the dirt is being delivered into the the auto crafting table at the end there we should be seeing yeah appetite and sand is being delivered into this auto crafting table and this auto crafting table should be creating fertilizer but it's not okay that's because oh no there we go there we go perfect oh it, it waits for more sand to arrive okay there we go so the fertilizer is heading into the auto crafting table at the end here which should be creating hummus oh you know what we're gonna have to do guys we're gonna have to um put an infinite we're gonna have to put a loop here uh because i think that this auto crafting table is probably going to fill up with sand quite quickly so um i think we're gonna have to put we're gonna have to put a, an item loop in here i think and hmm i don't want to do it on this side because then it's going to connect up to the dirt delivery system so i think we're going to have to do it on this side unfortunately i broke my freaking pickaxe so uh, <laughs> i have to use my fist to break this marble and break this stone um all right so if we just add this is a cobble this is a cobblestone pipe over here right yeah hmm all right guys we are back and i've just been fiddling around with these infinite loops and i think i've finally cracked it i've upgraded the loop section of the factory to golden transport pipes so the items travel around uh, the loop at top speed and that means that uh, you know there's a much bigger chance of them going into uh, the crafting table when they need to actually get into the crafting table and i also needed to add an infinite loop to our very first auto crafting table which i didn't think about at the beginning but there we go we have another golden uh, infinite loop up in this jazz like this and i i'm pretty happy with how this is running now and you know we also have these loops in the furnace room so it's pretty much exactly the same theory as that and uh you know it, it, the this this auto crafting table isn't actually filling up that quickly so and that's i think that's probably because the dirt is is taking quite a long time to get to it but you know what i think it's actually fine uh like i said we don't need this system to run at full freaking blast however we do need to make sure that those arboretums are getting uh you know the hummus that the humus that they need um at a decent rate so 
I'm going to have to monitor uh, the automatic tree farms for now just to make sure that you know they are actually getting what they need but I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how these loops are running and I'm pretty happy with how this factory is running you know we're not going to run out of sand anytime soon we're definitely not going to run out of appetite anytime soon we might run out of dirt though which is slightly worrying um, I don't think the quarries are actually delivering as much dirt as we would hope um, it seems to be keeping a steady level of about one or two stacks of dirt though So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my eye on on this and just to make sure that you know that is working absolutely perfectly and uh, Why don't we add we can add this? Stack of dirt. Well, what, what I want to do is actually make sure that this hummus is actually getting delivered correctly So that's the last thing we're gonna do in today's episode guys I'm just gonna add this stack into there Let's head up to the automatic tree farms where we should see that humus coming up <laughs> its transport pipes I'm still saying hummus aren't I delicious Greek yogurt <laughs> Let's just make sure that delicious Greek yogurt is being delivered to its destination correctly And we can see the logs are being delivered nice and slowly, but that is absolutely fine guys We don't need this system to run at full freaking blast. We should see that 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 humus coming up There it is the humus is coming up and it will be delivered into this arboretum first and when this arboretum fills up actually hmm we might have to make another infinite loop when this arboretum fill although I don't think it ever will fill up though hmm I don't know it just depends on how fast our system runs and I think if we keep the system running pretty slowly like it is now then I think the chances of these arboretums filling up with humus humus are really really low so I don't think we really have to worry about that but this humus should be coming now into the very first arboretum I think then the next stack this stack should go to the the the, the one on the far end I'm not sure if that's how the transport pipe um, mod works if it alternates between destinations but I guess we will see in a second because we've got two stacks of humus coming up and they seem to be being made in quite a consistent number it looks like it yeah look there's another stack coming up so it looks like it's sort of every I don't know every 30 seconds or so uh, that a stack gets created by the humus factory so that seems pretty good and uh, this yeah this arboretum is definitely not short on humus right now it's definitely not short on saplings but let's have a look man this first stack of humus is coming in where's it gonna go where's it gonna go door number one or door number dos all right he looks like he's going to door number dos so <laughs> we're gonna have to now keep an eye out for the next batch which is coming over here does it go to does it go to the destination that's that's uh, has the least this has got 64 and 11 and this has got 64 and 5 so hmm I don't think it yeah it, do, it doesn't seem to take into account quantity but let's have a look hopefully this one will go up here look at this oh this is awesome man the, the, the humus is being generated at quite a consistent rate here which is really really great I'm very happy about that and it's uh, I think it's a stack of eight bits of humus at a time oh no we got a problem we got sand coming out of the, arb the the arboretum over here oh no oh no we got we got a problem Houston we're gonna have to put a diamond transport pipe over here to send the sand back into this pipe up in here all right well at least we spotted that and that that humus actually went all the way to the end over here so we missed this one again unfortunately hmm what about this one you're gonna go up Okay, he's gonna go up. All right, so it looks to be it looks like it's random But what we have spotted guys we spotted one error and that is of course that this pipe is sucking sand uh, Out of this arboretum So what I'm gonna have to do is install another diamond transport pipe in this location to redirect sand into this pipe And we'll probably have to do the same for this factory over here But guys I'm gonna do that off camera and just make sure that this system is running 100% that everything is working uh, as I wanted to but I am very very happy with how the humus factory has turned out today and uh, it's it's looking kind of messy at the moment but off camera I'm gonna get some marble paneling in here I'm gonna clean this jazz up cover the shame and uh, it, you know everything is looking sweet man look at this our, our barrels are nice and full our auto crafting tables are working nicely and everything is just running really really smoothly and of course our chest continues to fill with oak wood and in the next episode guys we are going to be 
working on a scaffolding factory. We're going to turn all of this oak wood into scaffolding so we can start working on the freaking foundations for the Ren Star. Well, guys, this has been Ren Dog playing Minecraft Feed the Beast. I hope you have enjoyed it, man. This has been a technical episode of epic pro proportions, but we have managed to set up our humus factory and our arboretums now have a constant supply of humus and are thus generating logs for us 24 hours a day and we're going to be able to make a redonkulous amount of scaffolding. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next episode where we're going to be completing the final stage of this project, which is creating the scaffolding factory. We'll see you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye.